America's Under Secretary of State was in Russia to discuss current affairs, but William Burns also took time out to remind the world of a five-year-old murder. He attended a church service in Moscow to mark the fifth anniversary of the death of Paul Klebnikov, the editor of the Russian version of Forbes magazine. Two men suspected of carrying out the killing were acquitted by a jury in 2006. Others were thought to have ordered the murder, and they are still at large. After five long years, we urge the Russian authorities to redouble their efforts to bring to justice those responsible for the cause. Klebnikov was gunned down as he left his Moscow office. He died later in a hospital lift, which stalled. He was 41. His widow has repeatedly called on the Kremlin to prosecute his killers, and President Obama raised the subject during his recent meeting with Russia's leaders. Whether he and Burns will revitalize the investigation isn't clear, but Russia does have work to do if it wants to improve its image abroad. Fifty journalists have died in the country since 1992. One organization claims it's the third most dangerous place for journalists to work, after Iraq and Algeria. Sonia Legg, Reuters.